Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Haven't made a video for a very long time, and I just got out of ball python, so that's pretty much it. But, well, I guess I'll just hyper say it was just because of work, but it's like been like eight months later, and I got the schedule down packed more, so I'm getting back into ball pythons again, but I'm staying into them. But, real quick, you can see. I just have a B15 rack. These are some for hatchlings. So that just shows that I'm good getting hatchlings. So yeah. Um right now I only have one snake. I am getting more. I'm getting let me think. Um I'm getting five more for sure. Maybe another two after that, but I'm not positive about those last two, but I'm getting those uh, those five for sure But I'm not gonna be getting them till next week because I bought this one from somebody here in Utah. So I could just drive there But um the other ones are being shipped to me, but it's too cold right now from where uh, uh, For where they're at So yeah So let's just show you this guy real fast. I need to put a water dish in here. So yeah This is a 2014 male calico. His white is just barely starting to come in. You can kind of see it. But calicos are like pides. They have low white and high white offspring. So yeah. It's got a little bit of stuck shade on his head. But for what I'm planning with him, I can make some cool stuff. And I already have two snakes. Or well, I already have all the genes for what I really want to make, like for like the end product of the calico and then other morphs into that. So yeah, well I don't have them yet, but I'm going to have them. So yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's him. So I am gonna start getting some more racks too, some um V eight eighteen tubs. And that'll be good for ball pythons up until they're like almost a thousand grams, so yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I kind of scared him. See ya.